good afternoon i think it is it is sunday the 7th of august august 2022 um we've just taken a little drive down to glen roy yeah roy bridge yeah we've passed roy bridge and come up to glen roy glen roy um obviously we don't have steve uh, steve oh colin done yet but we've uh, just taken him down here uh to look at the parallel lines behind us now i don't know if they're going to come out on this camera but i have taken some photos um and we're possibly going to walk up not to the top of that hill because like no just just no you're gonna go to the first parallel line at least aren't you yeah that's the plan that's the plan. It's up to you if you want to go to the second one, but I ain't. See how boggy the ground is. Yeah, so that's where we're going. But uh, it's nice here. There's a car park. Nice, nice flat car park. There. Yeah. Okay, so that's looking. Hang on. There's uh, Colin. There's the car park. Very flat. Um, so I can't actually see them on the screen, but I don't know if you can see there's parallel lines there. Why are there parallel lines there? Because in the ice ages, the valley, the other valley going the other way, was blocked by a glacier, so it formed, oh, no. it formed a lock here, oh. and. There's three, but the the lowest one is the oldest one. Three parallel lines. Yeah. yeah. I can see two. There's definitely three. There's one a lot oh, further down. Just about make it out very faintly. Right. Um, and as the glacier got bigger, it filled it up. It a filled bit it up more. a bit more, and filled it up a bit more, and then it all melted and it's gone. It's all gone. Because we'd be underwater else. We would be swimming. And and very cold. Very cold. Yeah. Glen Roy, there we go. So that's the view that side. There the is valley a... is miles down there. Oh, no. Go down in a minute, hold on. Uh... Got a bit of an information board. I have taken some photos, so I'll try and remember to put those up there. Oh, yeah. Go down to. I don't know if you can see. Lots of sheep wandering around. It's very windy, not too cold though. See those mountains? Oh, that's the other side, obviously I don't really want to film the other cars and vans. So we are possibly just going to walk up to, oh about there I think, I can't actually see. But we have... Where the tree is. Yeah, where this little tree is. Um, but, 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 but we have seen a couple people walk right up and over the top, possibly.
so there I am just coming out of the uh, toilet block which is just here sorry that's a bit uh, close <laughs> and I stopped dead in my tracks look three deer hello what's it is it going to see I'm sorry I'm doing this on my phone and there's one Hear these birds? Oh, look. We're just about to leave the campsite now. But I can't say enough how much um, we've enjoyed staying on this campsite for three nights. It's lovely. few little midges. We have um, had the uh, messy things on the windows. Ooh, flying around me now. Oh, that was one. Oh. oh my god. Okay, so we dropped Colin off at McConaughey's. Halford's garage in uh, Fort William this morning about 8 o'clock it's Monday obviously um, so we've left him here for a few hours we walked into Fort William uh, looked around all the grockle shops and then we ran out of grockle shops so we strolled back and it's about I have no idea what time it is actually 10 to 11 10 to 11 and they're just putting the last uh, wheel nut on or something so it sounds like he's been done I don't know how much it is but thank you to McConaughey's Halfords Garage in Fort William anyway for getting us out of trouble okay so we're still at the garage they've been banging in stuff at him but they've just driven him out he's gone him as a test drive. Let's see if he's working. Fingers walking around the nature reserve on Bewley Holiday Park campsite just to have a look around it's a brown hide there Overlooks the river by the look of it. Yeah. And a big dragonfly. There's a couple of herons just flew through there. Oops, that. Uh. 
wasp nest. Someone or something's been digging there. So, fast flowing. into Bewley and in the nest. That's the view up the river. the view down the river with the man flow fishing. Don't know if he's read the book by J.R. Hartley. Hidden in the ferns over there just as you come off the bridge. Before this car gets here, there's a secret little pillbox there. Can you see it? Alright, so this is a little tour of the Bewley Holiday Park. Open on yeah. Right. So the brown building there is a little bar, Captain Faff's bar. It opens in the evenings in this midsummer. The white building is the reception. And we've got grey waste emptying down in there. Kind of a toilet up in there, don't need to see in there. You can walk in there. Grass on that side. Red standings on this side. You get a permit from the reception if you want to fly fish. That's the toilet, shower, hot wash and laundry facilities building which is brand new for this year. It's very nice in there. I'll let you do some stills. And then there's caravan pitches down there and in that bottom field it's tents. <laughs> 